great pleasure now to welcome on stage Dr. Devi Prashad Duari, Director of Birla Planetarium, but also one of the most inspiring and engaging science communicators we have grown up with. Uh, as he comes on, up on stage, may I just remind everyone in the audience and those who have not been able to come in that this will be open till 9 o'clock tonight and also tomorrow evening. So please don't get impatient. There will be opportunity to come up close and have a closer look at this wonderful installation. Dr. Devi Prashad Duari to introduce the moon and inaugurate this fantastic installation. A very good evening to you all. We all know Calcutta is uh, well known as a city of culture. But in the present era, science has become a part of our culture. So I think today is the mixing of culture and science, both at the grounds of Victoria Memorial. And what a place, because Calcutta means Victoria Memorial, apart from Howard Bridge. So I think it's a wonderful evening, it's a magical evening that we are here today. But one has to also consider why moon? Because thousands of years back, when our ancestors first became conscious about the sky, about the heavens, about the heavenly bodies, their motions, they were fascinated by the moon. Lot of stories, lot of mythological stories, lot of ideas, lot of concepts came out from the early Greek, Roman and other philosophers about the moon. But it's amazing that all of them realize that it plays a tremendously important role to earth without understanding the scientific connection. And to make the long story short, moon is there in the sky. That is the reason we are here on the earth. Not many of us understand or realize that our very basic existence on earth our origin and evolution of life on Earth happened because probably Moon was one of the biggest factors. What is Moon? The present scientists believe, at least 90% of the scientists believe, Moon was born from our Earth 4.52 billion years back. A huge rock came and slammed onto the Earth with such a force, huge amount of the surface material got gouged up and was thrown up into space. But because of Earth's attraction, they could not go away forever. But going to a very vast distance, they condensed, coagulated, coalesced, and has given birth to Earth. So, Moon was born from the Earth. But what happened because of that collision, two things happened. Forever, Earth's spinning axis got tilted by 23 and a half degrees, and the Pacific Ocean was created. And this tilting of 23 and a half degrees is responsible for the change of seasons. Because sunlight falling directly onto a patch of land and falling slantingly over a bigger patch of land, in the first case the temperature becomes more than the second. And because of the tilt of the earth, for six months, roughly six months, the sun falls directly onto the northern hemisphere and slantingly onto the south, making summer in the north and winter in the south. And later six months, the opposite. You can again ask me, okay, I understand because of the tilt, season changes occur, but why, why it is so important? Do you know if there were no change of seasons, what would have happened to Earth? If there were no change of seasons, there would have been no ocean currents in our oceans. If there are no ocean currents in our oceans, there would have been no air currents in our atmosphere. And if there are no air currents in our atmosphere, clouds would not have gone somewhere and gathered somewhere else and gave us rain and fresh water. Life would not have been possible because just a cloud was born, it would have been a barren desert. So you and me exist is because change of seasons. And change of seasons happen indirectly because of the birth of the moon. Not only that, we all know tides. It is because of the differential attraction of the moon on both sides of the Earth's water body, tides occur. And we take it for granted because we are a coastal area people, we have rivers, Ganges, and we know tides twice a day. But do you know how important it is? Because in our childhood days, we have all learned first life form evolved on Earth on oceans. So how did it get onto the land? It suddenly grew legs? No. Every high tide, multicellular organisms used to come wash the shore. Water used to go down there, used to get stranded and get killed. 
And over millions of years, they got the adaptation, the power to stay alive on land. And from there, different animals happened, different organisms happened, monkeys happened, and from monkeys we have died. So that we are here is because tides are there. And tides are caused by the sunshine. So moon plays a tremendously important role in the origin, evolution, and presently also for the sustenance of life forms on Earth. But moon also is very interesting. How many of us know? Every year, every year, moon is going away from Earth 3.6 centimeters on average. That means, millions of years back, one day of Earth was not 24 hours. It was 6 hours to 7 hours. And millions of years later, Earth will be making its one day in 48 hours. Because as moon is going away, Earth is slowing down. So, though we can think moon as a thing of beauty, the pearly white light, and a lot of people can write poetries, that's fine. But for our existence, moon is there and is a very, very important factor. And that is the re reason probably this timely exhibition of the moon, especially in India and especially in Kolkata, is very relevant. Why? One factor I think the director mentioned about the blue, super blue blood moon that happened on 31st January. And another factor, just yesterday we came to know, month of April, India is going to send its second moon mission, Chandra So, we are actually at the cusp, at the junction of two very important events. Science is a global phenomenon. It's a collaborative effort nowadays. Why am I putting special emphasis on India? Because my friend, it was 2008, India's first moon mission, Chandrajan 1, that we came to know definitively that there is presence of water ice on the moon by the instrument called Moon Mineralogy Mapper. And after that, NASA scientists have also found it later, a lot of water. Why that is important? Because scientists of the world are realizing that our natural resources are becoming so less day by day and the population is growing, soon we have to find habitable places in the space. And moon can be one of the best options. And if you have water ice, which can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen, that oxygen can create a biosphere for which the humans and the plants can survive and the hydrogen can be used as a rocket fuel. So, moon is now very seriously looked upon as the next frontier of human endeavor in understanding the cosmos. Not only that, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, and most of it, helium-3. Helium-3 is a magic thing. You know why? If scientists can bring down two tons, 2,000 kilograms of helium-3 from moon to India, one full years of India's energy generation can be done through two tons of helium-3 without any side effects of radioactivity. And moon, they have found helium-3. So, not only that we love moon, because from the ancient times, from the prehistoric times, people have imagined a lot of things that it is made up of seas, which are called Marias, which now we know are plain lands. And there are fantastic names, Sea of Tranquility, Sea of Nectar, Sea of Understanding, different names have been given. Even the craters that you see are being named after famous scientists, Kepler, Einstein, Newton, each has a crater named after it. Why? Just because of his tremendous importance to the earth, to us, to human life, and to our very first step in understanding how the cosmos works in a bigger scale. I wish to honestly thank both British Council and the Victoria Memoria for doing a tremendously fantastic job of not only giving us an idea of the moon, but also to tell us talk to ourselves for maybe a fraction of a second and think of our eternal existence in this whole concept of cosmos. So, I do not think there should be an official inauguration, but by your presence, by the presence of the people who are still standing outside, and by the presence of all these cosmic bodies, let us inaugurate this fantastic vision of the moon exhibition. Thank you.
thank you uh, dr duari for that wonderful introduction and inaugurating the